baking lunch? Good, I'm starved. It's for the baby, Ma. What is it? Strained spinach, strained carrots, and strained beets. I think I'll just have a cup of coffee. <laughs> Why can't they make strained lobster Newburg or strained chocolate mousse? I'd love to go out some night and eat something I actually had to chew. Well, why don't you, dear? You know, I could watch little Timmy. No, it's not easy dating when you have a kid. Mom, men seem to run the other way. Don't I know it? <laughs> what? Well, look at me. I have four. Am I dating? But <laughs> all your children are grown up. No, I mean a relationship, you know, with some nice guy who's, who's bright and funny and caring. Someone who asks me questions about myself. Someone who cares about what I think. You know, a friend as well as a lover. <laughs> and failing that, someone with a nice car. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Billy. You're home early. I never went out. You know, that's strange. You've been spending so much time away from home lately. Oh. Billy, you're not ill, are you? I'm great. I feel fine. How's Leslie? She's great. Fine. She's terrific. It must be so nice to have someone you can spend time with. It's the best. Where is she now? Who cares? <laughs> Billy. Oh, no. I didn't mean that, Mom. It's just she wants to see me all the time. And I really care for her. She's a wonderful person. But I'm just too young to commit all my time to her. Do you believe this? Here we are dying for what you have, and you don't want it. What's with this family and relationships? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is something the matter, Dutch? Oh, nothing, nothing. Everything is Jake. You seem a little depressed. I found this on my pillow. What is it? It's a letter. I know that, dear. I mean, what is in it? Well, I haven't read it yet. I'm too scared. Well, who's it from? It ain't from the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> it's Eunice. She wants me out. Now, Dutch, we don't know that for sure. Yeah, this is goodbye. That's what this is. I got 24 hours to get out of her life. I'm getting the boot, the old wazoo, the long goodbye. Why don't you read it? I can't. If this says what I think it says, I'll go nuts. Uh, now, Dutch, I know that your natural instinct is to tear the kitchen to pieces and throw it piece by piece into the pool. But you're a mature, intelligent man, and I'm sure you can take any news, good or bad, with dignity and decorum. Thanks. Would you like one of us to read it for you? If you don't mind. Oh, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. There's nothing we humans can't handle like the British do. <laughs> Has anyone seen Irv? Who? My pigeon. I sent him across the lines with the prescription to fill, and he hasn't returned, the damn bird. <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> it's a lousy letter, ain't it? No, not at all. Not at all. Look, neatly typed. It's in a new envelope, nicely folded. You read it to me? Fine. Fine. But... We're going to play a little game first. It's called Tie Up. You see, we are going to tie you up real tight, and then we'll read the letter. Won't that be fun? No, oh, please. I could handle it, really. I, I believe you, Dutch. I believe you. Corinne, you read the letter. <laughs> dear Dutch. You see, there's a good sign, dear. I mean, she could have started it, hey, Jerko. Read. Dear Dutch, I've run off with another man. Okay, okay, little setback. No problem. <laughs> Shake it off. Read. Please don't take this as a reflection on you. Better. Billy. Read. But I have to leave you. Please don't try to find me. It's easier this way. Eunice. God, look at the time. Well, so long, everybody. I'd better run. How are you feeling, Dutch? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to do nothing. I better go and pack. What for? I can't live here no more. Eunice is gone. So? Well, you're her family. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Eunice. I wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for Eunice, so I'd better just go. Dutch, wait. Now, we're your family now. 
No, I appreciate you saying that, but uh, that ain't true. Now, Dutch, you listen to me. You are not only a part of this family, but technically you are the man of the house. I mean, we have just recently lost two husbands here. <laughs> and I simply will not tolerate another man walking out of this house. Dinner's at six. Please don't be tardy. Your mother's really a nice person. We all feel the same way, Dutch. <laughs> Almost all. You feel like talking? No. You feel like crying? I haven't cried since so. I don't cry. Well, then, would it help if I held you? Twenty-two hours. Twenty-two hours I've been dribbling this. Bert. I dribbled in the train. I dribbled down the street. I dribbled in the subway where I almost got killed. Four black guys tried to take it from me. <laughs> and what happens? In your office, one of your stupid nurses slaps it out of my hands. Sorry. What is wrong with her? Where is her mind? She takes a person's basketball in the middle of a dribble. I'm sure she didn't realize. 22 hours. I have to start all over again. I'm sorry, Bert. I'll talk to her. Which one was it? The blonde. The one who looks like a transvestite. <laughs> I'll talk to her. Sit down. This better be important why I'm here. After what I just went through here, this better be big. Yes, big, Bert. Something happened yesterday. I lost a patient. <coughs> You're having a really terrific month here. See, about the time you came in for your physical, this other guy came in to see me, too. Well, he checked out fine. Perfect help. Yesterday, he died. <coughs> I, I, I did an autopsy, Bert. He had your disease. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, I have no time left. You gave me five months. You told me what this you mean? Ah, oh, what do you mean? This is it? I mean, right now, any second, I just like. Oh, Christ, I'm getting dizzy here. That's it. Oh, God. God. I can't. I feel it. That's it. The heart stop. It's gone. No, no. Doc, I'm going. I'm going. You tell Mary I love her. Bert, you're not dying. Give my eyes to some blind guy. I got 20 20 vision, but just tell him, remember. Vodka makes him red. <laughs> Bert, it was a mistake. Am I dead yet? This is taking a very long time. Bert, you're not dying. The lab made a mistake. He had the disease, not you. I mean, I don't want to have... I never had... I'm not now. I don't... I'm alive. Right. I'm living. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna die. I feel awful. That poor guy died and I'm happy. Oh, if it's any help at all, Bert, he was a terrible guy. See, that's why I got so upset when I thought you were dying. I said, why, Bert? Why should Cookie live and Bert die? His name was Cookie. You can imagine a man named Cookie. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. How do you make a mistake like this? How, how do you make this mistake? Computer error. Computer error? <laughs> Bert. Computer error, we're talking life and death here, not master charge. I almost drove off the flat iron building. They're ruining our lives, these computers. I had a friend once shot the computer. He made him so crazy. The computers, you ever make a mistake on your bill? Forget it. Once it's in the computer, it's there for life. I'm glad you brought that up, Bert. See, unfortunately, the computer thinks you're dying, and it contacted other computers, you know, Bank computers, charge card computers. See, some dying people like to charge up a storm before they go. So now, since all the computers think you're dying, you become a bad credit risk. If I were you, the next few months, I'd use cash. 